Did you know that the Prophet ﷺ made dua to Allah that he blesses what we do in the morning? But unfortunately, not many avail this opportunity. Instead, they waste this blessed time sleeping. In this video, I'm gonna cover how I managed to stay up after Fajr, Ramadan edition. Many mistakenly think that prepping for staying up after Fajr starts in the morning, but this is not the case. Rather, it starts the day before. Firstly, I make sure I have the suhoor food prepared in advance. Next, get a light iftar ready. Usually people tend to cook based on their hunger levels. Rather, make food based on what your body really needs. Another amazing strategy I have for you is to follow the sunnah way of breaking your fast. Break your fast with dates and water first. Next, pray maghrib and then eat the rest of the food. It might sound challenging especially with the delicious iftar food around, which is why it's a good idea to place your dates and water near your prayer mat. Wait for the adhan sitting on your prayer mat as opposed to to the dining table where all the food is placed. This way, you not only reap the rewards of following the sunnah and praying your salah on time, but it also gives you plenty of time to relax after iftar so you can feel refreshed and ready for isha and tarawih. Try to pray isha and tarawih as early as possible when you feel more awake. This will not only help you concentrate on your prayer better, but it will also help you wind down your day early. Finally, I like to end my day with some journaling and writing down my agenda for the upcoming day. This is the time I use my phone to post stories or to reply to any messages. I avoid using the phone on bed. Then I head to bed and generally either talk to my husband or play with my cat until I fall asleep. In the morning after the hajjad, I go to have suhoor. It's a good idea to cook a wholesome meal so you don't just fill your stomach but you also feel nourished. Then I pray my Fajr Salah and instead of heading to bed, I start my day right away. Today, I had an Instagram live planned with Sister Zohra Sarwani. After completing this, I went ahead to write the script of this very video you're watching now. Then, I'm planning to write today's Raw Monday Musings letter. At this point, I do want to say that I do have a nap later on sometimes, but just not after Fajr. As you can see, having my schedule ready the previous night is a real game changer, and I highly suggest you give it a try if you are not already. Are you usually up after Fajr? If yes, what are your strategies? If no, where do you struggle? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to leave your topic suggestions for future videos. Catch you in the next video inshallah. Take care.